Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Pamela. Hello. And John. Howdy. Riley. Riley. The mystery woman. <laughs> and Mike. Yo. And today we're going to be talking about... The JJ. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> what are you drinking right now, Mike? <laughs> what am I drinking? Oh, well. Um, it's uh, Lake Wolford Lager from uh, Valley Center Brewing Company. They sell it in a jar because VC is classy, okay? So, yeah, no, it's really good. A mason it's, jar, it looks like, right? Yeah, mason jar, yeah, with yeah. a little handle so I don't drop it. Oh, that's cap. fancy. Do, do, you, nice little do you drink it with your you pinky out? It yeah, yeah, I drink it pinky. I can put a little cap on it so I don't spill it. Yeah. You know, it's my baba. So, uh, uh, yeah, no, it's really good. Uh, it's, it's pretty smooth. It's not incredibly strong, which is kind of, I think, what most people are going for lager. They want something that's kind of refreshing, not like a heavy, you know... Which is kind of what I was feeling today, so yeah. Good nice. stuff. Nice. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, I like Valley Center Brewing. It has some, they have some good sours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking one right now, actually. Sour 17, and it's... That's not a beginner's the, sour. No, it's not, it's not for the uninitiated, that's for sure. Was that the one you were drinking when, when we were there? Yeah. That, one, that, was like, that was like, hmm... Diesel? It definitely makes your tummy yeah, all warm and fuzzy inside. It was good. It's the sourest sour I've ever had, so if you're into sours, check it out. That's cool. So speaking of alcohol, what what do you think about the drinking age? It's whack. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um you have most of the world where you can drink, uh, like, the actual defined legal age is, like, 16, most of Europe, if I remember correctly. Uh, but even then, you've got, like, old laws in Germany where it's like, can you sit at the bar stool? Okay, mm-hmm. you can drink. <laughs> you know, it's just... And to me, like, that's really not that crazy. Well, okay, so... This kid can sit at the bar stool. Uh, do you want a beer? The kid's probably gonna have a beer and get sloshed and not want another one. Like yeah. it, you know, it to to sit here and define and say, okay, well, you can drink at a certain age because we say you can drink at a certain age. Well, now you have at least like from what I've seen in the U.S. firsthand is you know you you go to college and every but he just gets blottoed every goddamn weekend like yeah. blottoed you know just fucking smashed because. They can't drink until they can go to college. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can drink legally. Well, let's go get a handle of, of uh, you know, oh, God, what was it that we were drinking so much? Uh, uh, green apple, um, green apple something. Green apple, I think it's a vodka, I think. And, yeah. 99 vodka. apples? No, it was 99 apples. Thank, <laughs> thankfully, it was a 99 <laughs> apple. But yeah, no, it was just... Boots uh, farm? No, terrible. Is it schnapps? No, it wasn't schnapps. It was, it was a, I think it was vodka. But anyways, besides the point, <laughs> I'm tangent man. You guys aren't. Remember that. I'm the one who's supposed to be going off on a tangent. That's my job. No, so back to the subject. Um, Glad you caught yourself. Yeah. Whew, that was close. Cool. We were almost gone. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, yeah, it, so, yeah, everybody's all pent up. They can drink until they're 21 unless they... Get their, uh, you know, local like weed guy to buy weed to buy beer for them when they yeah. buy weed before they're eighteen or twenty one. Because guess what? Everybody smokes weed before they're uh, legally allowed to in most states now. Hey, Not guess everyone. what? We're kind of getting over the whole weed being mm-hmm. illegal thing. This is awesome, right? Anytime you make something like taboo, like I guess in Europe, like sex and alcohol and all that stuff, it's just people are more open about it. Mm-hmm. And I think in places where you have it restricted or it's like. Uh, I think, yeah, taboo would be the right word. Then it makes it, like, you you go in so hard once you are able to experience it, you know? Yeah. Because it's not normal, in a way. Well, yeah. Speaking to what you mentioned earlier, I think I remember reading that uh, pushing back the drinking age to 21 didn't reduce the number of DUIs. It just pushed it back. 
Yeah. So the number of DUIs that was occurring for 18, 19, and 20-year-olds just now happens for 21, 22, and 23-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. think, um, I think the taboo thing is a huge part of it, but I also think that it's not just having the restriction of drinking alcohol until you're 21 or having access to weed. I think the problem stems, I'm not saying that we should put an age limit on drinking or smoking marijuana, but it has to do with like childhood trauma in a sense. Like say you have, you know, really authoritar authoritative parents and you're kind of living in a pressed, you know, upbringing. Mm -hmm. So that can stem into having access to alcohol and then it becoming a problem. Mm -hmm. So... You think that's I think worse here than in places where alcohol is legal? Yes, I think it is worse here. Partly because of that, because it is restricted. But also, I think it just starts with just raising healthy children who yeah. see alcohol as something to enjoy as opposed to binging. You know, getting trashed every weekend. Yeah. You know, that isn't necessarily the way that they want to interact and exchange with their friends and spend time. If you have happy people, then they're not going to be, they're going to be using things in moderation. Right. Right. And right. so then that's what you teach your children. But if they're seeing something besides that, it makes it okay. You know, like well, it's like that study with rats that they did where they found that they fed rats heroin and the rats that could smoke heroin or could ingest heroin would do so and not eat until they basically starved to death just kept on pushing the button to get more heroin that's um, a fucked up thing to do or do a rat but what man. they found out <laughs> agree <laughs> what, what they found out though is when they put the rats in a more natural environment they didn't do that huh. they would push the heroin button but then they would also choices. right exactly yeah. their environment was yeah. healthier so they didn't have to resort to that high just to have a good time or whatever. The mice walk on some grass a bit and they're like, you know what, don't really need that heroin anymore. This grass is pretty <laughs> damn good. <laughs> I've been restricted in a white room with white walls yeah. and a bright light. And I'd be well, pushing that like in my Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Medicaid, <laughs> Medicaid. Did they get oxytocin from something else then? Because I think it was in the water. Well, one thing that I recently oh, read is they did research and they found mammals, mammals specifically dolphins, are very compassionate with their young. Mm -hmm. And that aids in protecting them. So whenever a mom calls a baby dolphin to come over in, in you know, times, the compassion is like, it's it's known within the baby dolphin and it comes to the parent. It's just building that. I don't know. I think there's it. chemicals that get released in, right. the, in mm -hmm. that, and that's the oxytocin gets mm -hmm. released. Yeah. And so instead of having to go to a drug for that, they get it in the interaction. In the relationships, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, well, like in Japan, like, I'm pretty sure a kid, I don't think, I'm not aware of there being any uh, drinking age limit, and I know, like, you can get liquor in, like, vending machines and stuff, but Ooh. kids, that you know, yeah. there's access to it, and cigarettes, too, and at the same time, like, because it's so readily available, it's, there's not that, like, pressure, like, oh, man, I gotta do this because I can't, and, like, you know, there's that forbidden fruit yeah. aspect of, like, if you're not allowed to have something, it makes you want it like all the more when mar in the places where marijuana is legal teen use has gone down mm -hmm. yeah well, what and about so because people want to do things that they're not supposed to do like that's <laughs> just kind of human nature well you know, you know that um it's uh you know if you're told not to push the button you want to push the button yeah right you know, <laughs> like there's a um go ahead and look it up it's one of my favorite scenes from that tv show there's a Ren and Stimpy episode where he's told to guard a shiny red button and says, All right, Stimpy, do not push that button. Okay, Ren, what does the button do? Maybe something bad, maybe something good. <laughs> we just don't know. So don't it's push like the button. It's like lost or something. Yeah. So, you know, he's got to guard the button. What ends up happening, he can't stop but to push the button. It's just, yeah, it's human nature. Don't do that. Why? Uh, it's bad for you. But why? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I want to see how apple, bad it man. is for him. Yeah, the golden yeah. apple. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, was, it reminds me of the story of uh, Freud uh, and his wife had lost one of their children. That's what I was thinking. And the wife and was looking for the child frantically, and, and Freud came home or whatever, and, you know, oh, I can't find the kid. And he's like, did you tell him not to go anywhere? 
<laughs> is what he asked her. And she's like, yeah, I told him not to go to the dock. And he's like, all right, let's go to the dock. <laughs> <laughs> well, lo and behold, there's a kid <laughs> at the dock. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Well, one thing I was going to say is um, another issue regarding alcohol and drugs is how it's pushed in marketing and advertising, specifically music videos that kids are just sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kid, There's still music videos? Kids watch music I don't know, videos? do they? Oh, they MTV watch bad MTV. ones. They watch bad ones. You thought MTV was bad? It's got worse. Well, it's starting to old there. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 the kids are just doing <laughs> fucked up shit at like I a younger Chelsea's age. Oh, yeah. This is kids these days. Okay. This is the moment where we get bad. <laughs> their music videos are worse than MTV and everything. You see the way they shake their hips now? In my day, all we had was Madonna. <laughs> it's confused. It's like nobody knows what gender they are. Like it's it's. Why just somebody like gotta know? People are. Why somebody got it. People don't gotta know, but it's like it's just a very. There's a lot of information given out, and there always has been. But I just feel like um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little specifically odd. since the late '90s. It's a little odd, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I, I feel like the gender the, obfuscation. Yeah, was, no, the the use of pop music. To, okay. It's not even the gender thing. It's like the sexuality becomes younger and younger. Mm-hmm. And I really think that I think there's maybe an agenda to like push younger and younger kids into sexual. Uh, I don't know. Deviants. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and to like share. Who decides it. what deviance is? Uh, uh, dun, moral dun. people. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say those, that kids shouldn't have that feeling at a young age, but it's not healthy to see everything so sexualized and, like, all the girls are coming in from off the Disney Channel and then, like, a year later they're just, like, not Hard as wholesome. Out. You know, it's just, well, it's kind of a weird thing. Yeah, no, that's that that's something kind of interesting because you have a lot of the... Uh, Who decides to have moral Because sex is, is taboo. Moral because, people. Because, <laughs> you know, like, that's what it has to do with. It's like we have this weird well. thing with sex in America. Yeah, I'm a moral person because I'm a moral person and yeah. I say I'm a moral person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what it down, boils down to. But, yeah. I mean, you look, you know, you can go into the army, right, at like age 18, but you can't have a drink until you're 21. Like, how does you that make any drink, sense? You can't drink, you can't buy a handgun, you yeah. can't buy gold until you're 18. Yeah. You cannot, in California at least, you can't buy That's outrageous. gold until you're 18. That's outrageous. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can't do until you're 21, which is really ridiculous. What about driving requirements? Oh, yeah. I remember that nonsense. I didn't get my license until I was 18 because I didn't want to do any of that. Well, so I think so for two years, years I have to, like, like, like have some years car with me nonsense. Like, mm-hmm. In Idaho, yeah. if you lived on a farm, you could get your license at 14. Restricted That's license. Idaho, though, man. <laughs> it's a long way from Cali. <laughs> No, or, no, I mean, our sister Arizona. has a health condition. Her daughter is getting her permit now at 13, so she can drive her around. Because of a health condition? Yeah. In Arkansas. Yeah. Well, Arkansas, we all don't yeah. have our That's health cool. conditions. But. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, back in the day, of course, you know, I mean, kids growing up on, like you said, like, more rural rural, rural. areas, they're driving tractors and their T, what, are they, what is it called, T9s or the old school automobiles. And, different from like 13 years old on the freeway you. in California like you know cross between a Model T and a D- Caterpillar D9 yeah maybe that's what I was going <laughs> for but uh, so I think I think the real question should really boils down to how does society decide when someone becomes fully able to make decisions for themselves can can that be something that's decided amongst society? Well, physiologically, I think scientifically you can make a good case that at the age of 25 isn't until you, that's when you fully have your prefrontal lobes fully developed for, for your judgment and reasoning and, you know, uh, weighing of consequences and stuff. So right. I should have That's, stayed off in that heavy drug use for a couple more years. Absolutely, yeah. Like any kind of heavy drug use before the age of 25. <laughs> I wish I would have fucking waited. It all happened that. before then. I, I know, it's a shame. It seemed like the well, best that's time. Be, that's show. because the experimentation takes place when you're legally an adult but still not developing. Yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> you're going to go and do what you can. 
shit. But, uh, what are like you points? Because once good. you develop, you're not going to do that shit no more. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> hey. much more akin not to. Those are the random packs of dogs. That <laughs> These are the wild wolves here. that. Fat dog. Yeah. Yeah, the, the forest we film it in has uh, wild packs of uh, Jack Russells. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> so awesome. A little bit scary what sometimes. Are but, different, like, know. cultures. No, the rat terriers. Rat terriers. What, what's the age of uh, accountability? Giant rat terriers. In, <laughs> terriers. in like, Jewish culture. They're dragon terriers. We're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the bomb is for 13, right? After yeah. accountability. Well, that's, that's the thing, too. In most cultures, historically, between... You know, twelve and fourteen was set the age that you became a full member of the society. Mm-hmm. Girls um, and yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Well, it's not just that though. It's not just that. Um, people were raised differently. I had, I knew this guy who was a missionary in Papua New Guinea, and he used to talk. Uh, he I I would hear about how. From two, three years old, you were basically on your own for most of the day. Like your parents would still take care of you. You yeah. would, you would, you know, learn. But you were mostly like learning how to survive the world. Hands on. Uh, and a lot of people, as adults, would have a bunch of scars because of stuff that they would do as kids. <laughs> learning the ropes. Learning the ropes. Yeah. The fashion way. Do you think that maybe the reason why... But you were a full-fledged member of society by 13. And, and right, and they had rites of passage where they had to right. accomplish some, you know, feat or some task or what have you, uh, ordeal uh, to become, you know, fully, you know, a member of society or what do have you. Think, do you think, though... Lost that. Do you think, though, that the sophistication of society... Has driven the number up. The number of what? Oh, I, right. Mm. Think when when your whole existence is agrarian or pre-agrarian, uh, there might not be as many hazards that you need to learn to avoid. Sure. Or the world was just a safer. People were safer. Mm. I kind of. Mm. Yeah. Well, that that seems to make sense to me. But didn't didn't wasn't there less crime like back forty years ago? I guess where you could kind of not let, forty years ago there were let there your wasn't. kids wander a little bit further. Maybe um, I'm wrong about that. I I know what you're saying though. I think no. I think I like think, in Japan. I, I think we are not. I, I think we coddle kids. I, by we I mean them. the. Uh, the average uh, um, parent yeah. in America yeah. today. Well, yeah, it's like carrying on the childhood process when I was, much longer than yeah, it used to be. Yeah. I, I lived in the bad part of Stockton until I was 10. And by bad part of Stockton, I mean my neighbors had their house shot up with Uzis. Mm. Yeah. Good. And, you know, I had, I remember writing in the car on Easter one one year uh, through the middle of a police standoff. <laughs> the so you're a gangster. Is what you're <laughs> so you're an well, I, but I used to, you know, it was no big deal to wander the neighborhood by myself or with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it wasn't because things were safer back then or things were safer in my area because they weren't. Yeah. It was because, I don't know, the parents were, weren't were so coddling, I guess, maybe? Yeah. I mean, today, you do that in a nice neighborhood, and you have you the cops CPS at your door. Yes, yeah. 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 Like, 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 what are you doing letting your kids play outside? The helmets <laughs> and bicycles and mm-hmm. all that stuff, right? You know, and, and yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how many kids got brain damage because they had a bicycle accident, <laughs> you know, when I was a kid as compared to now, but, uh, yeah. I'm dating myself a bit, but I do remember when I was a little kid, uh, my friend's dad would pick us up from school at the end of the day, and we'd, drop in, we'd jump in the back of the pickup and go home. Mm-hmm. 
And I remember specifically, like, it was the next year, they're like, oh, we can't do that anymore. I'm all like, what the fuck? I know. Oh, you know? Remember riding in the back yeah. of a Volvo? You're, we like, in the truck or something, yeah. in those little seatbelts. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, but it, was, it was the best. Yeah, and so like, the thing that was funny is that, you know, I mean, the, you know, he was, a, he was a pretty good dude, and we were like, me and my two friends, we all bitched about it. We were like, what? We can't jump in the back. And he's like, okay, fine. Like, one more time. today, you can do it still. Like, we're going to risk it. You know, all right, you know, rebels, let's go. And so, like, for like, we had one day where we were doing it illegally on the way home. We're just like, woo, yeah, no seatbelts. Fuck this shit. So, I, I remember we couldn't ride in the back on the freeway, but you could do it on back roads. Okay. Right well, up until I, I, I graduated from high between. school. <laughs> and I remember one time my buddy got arrested, and we were, a bunch of us were in the back of the truck when he got arrested, mm -hmm. and none of us could drive yet. Mm -hmm. Cops made us walk back to town. Duh. Two miles. Ooh. Like, oh, I have, a, I have a dog in the back. You can't ride with me. Yeah, it was not cool. Not cool. Not to mention the fact that he was arrested for bullshit reasons. Mm -hmm. Basically, he made the cop mad. That's what it amounted to. That's what it came down to. That's what it always but anyway, comes down to. Oh, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> no, I so so what do you what do you guys think about this idea? Like, should there be a specific age? People mature at different levels. Do you think we need there needs to be a general? Uh, I was thinking one thing I was reading about Japan recently or watching a video and they will like have their four and five year olds like go to a market down the street like the kids know or ride a subway and the kids know that they can depend on the community community around uh -huh. them if they're in trouble and they just grow up with this sense of like kind of doing it themselves where it's like we can't let our kids like get out of eyes Site, really. Yeah. Well, we could. We don't. We, we could, could, but we, we don't. don't. And, and we don't have that trust reason. with each other, you know. And that for pretty good reason, you yeah, know. There yeah. some, and I think maybe, I mean. Uh, That's why I'm wondering, what, did it used to be safer? Because I remember it being uh, more like you could go into the cul-de-sac and play and wander and, you know, like be yeah. lost for a while. Yeah, now. fear. I think it's fear built in. Yeah. Stories, news, you know, sensational. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say, where, like, where does that come, where does that lack of trust come from? Well, How like, is it that we've gotten from to that? Well, this, yeah. It, yeah, that's what no. it is. It's it's little stuff that people overreact to. Mm -hmm. yeah. For instance, the the whole stranger danger idea. You are more likely a, a child is more likely to be abused by a family member than a stranger or a yeah. friend of the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm vastly more likely. Well, I think I actually read that we're safer now than we used to be, but it's like everything is such a big deal that it feels really scary to, like, you know... Tamper seals on, or... on pills. The reason there's a tamper seal on peel, pills is because back in the 80s, one guy... Yeah. One guy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, poisoned some Tylenol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember. What's yeah. funny, though... What's funny, though, is nobody... Bats and I to look at Tylenol killing being the number one cause of liver failure in the country. Number one cause of liver failure is Tylenol. Nobody bats an eye. I totally believe that. But yeah. one guy poisons some Tylenol, and we need some a piece of plastic on that shit. <laughs> Don't use it. Doesn't have a seal. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, I. You know, I guess it'd be like, who would impose an age restriction, and what is the basis of their authority to impose an age restriction? Yeah. Yeah. Should it at least be up to the parents, if anybody, you know? Or and not even I guess an anybody. argument could be made for a business owner, but yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. Outside of that. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese would be a whole lot different. Like, like, do you hate weird. kids, John? Do you hate kids? <laughs> kids, kids don't like Won't alcohol. Won't somebody though. please think yeah. of the children? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't like alcohol. They don't they have the taste buds for, for beer it. No, and no, wine. No, no. Yeah, yeah, give me some Coca-Cola, damn it. That's my drug of choice for the I kid. probably no, wouldn't even drink just keep giving it to them until they get developed taste I don't think it's going to happen. When they start, like, bouncing off the walls, it's good. Once they start falling around. Like Superman into the wall. Well, I mean, like, let's... How many, how many kids example. today 
were were soothed uh, during their teething yeah, years with alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Put some whiskey uh, in like, the bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, no, my mom completely admits that. She's like, yeah, I used to cry a lot in whiskey. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> There's where my love of whiskey comes from. <laughs> she told me she was kind of like a one for you or one for me. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> Back when you would like lay your baby in the back seat and like buckle it in with the seatbelt. <laughs> I don't think I was buckled in. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the buckle. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so how, you know, like, so a volunteer... Oh, dun, 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 thank you. Um, voluntary age restrictions. Okay, so let's, let's think of an extreme example. So, five-year-old kid walks into a gun store and he's uh, like, Hey, I'm the kid from, uh, what was the book, uh, Catcher in the Rye. Let me have a gun. Well, so the guy who owns a gun store. I'm the kid from Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> What's the character's name? I'm like, I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to sell to you. Yeah. Uh, I, I read that book. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, like, so, like, a kid walks into a gun store and wants to buy a gun and has the money for it. You know, that, that the guy who runs the gun store is going to still have his business in that community. If he sells a gun to a five-year-old and that five-year-old does something terrible with that gun, right, they're going to know where he got it from. Right. I mean, it's the not too hard to figure probably, that out. Yeah, right. Yeah. So parents would hold them accountable. Well, I think when you take government out of the equation, it becomes more like a personal accountability. You know, like people... Yeah. I, I don't know. Your name means more in a way. Like... <laughs> I'll try to eat Don King. Don King <laughs> is so attractive. <laughs> but yeah. Hi, hi. It uh that's kinda what 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 John was saying, that you know, they're people are gonna be more responsible because it's more on them than it is now. Right. You know. Uh I think that that uh accountability is to, you know, go back to a subject of uh, maybe like a corporation or something where it's like People who work for corporations tend to be a little bit less responsible because ultimately they're not personally responsible mm -hmm. for it. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I was acting under authority of corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just following orders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just following orders or something like Maybe that. Maybe that's because our kids are used to like being parents are all over them and following orders instead of like going out and doing it on their own. So then they don't have to be accountable for it anymore. They're just following orders. Gross. Thanks for farting. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for right next to me. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Mike, we know it was you. <laughs> Don't blame it on the dog. <laughs> that was definitely a dog sized squeak, okay? <laughs> I don't know which number is that on the app. <laughs> so, it's kind of a difficult question. Uh -huh. And I, I don't want to get heavily into it. Right. But what about uh, age of consent for, like, sex? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it, if we're going to dive into it, let's dive into it. I mean, that is, that's been variable throughout the course of human history and to the point where, like, even modern day, you have the age of consent very wildly all over the world. I mean, mm -hmm. just south border of Mexico, I think it's 12. Mm -hmm. A 12 or 13. Oh, I mean, to yeah, me, I sit there and go, 13. like, I've never met a 12 or 13-year-old that's probably in the right state of mind for that to be healthy. You know, for that to be something that they either feel like it's healthy if they're but, but then again, the how many people outside of American years. culture, Fair how many 13-year-olds okay. have you met outside of American culture, too? Yeah, this one time, it's like around 13-year-old kid came in to the school that I was going at in Mexico. And I was uh, going to school down there for a while, and this guy was like 13, but he looked like he was 25. And, you know, he was, he was like a grown man. And he had like, uh, like, yeah, I mean, it was a different culture. <laughs> Riley's saying the thing. Do you see the beard on that 13 year old? That was fucking wild. Yeah, I, 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 I was like 23, so. <laughs> but. I think like 18 is a little high. Anyway. 
For for a lot of things, yeah, for sure. And I, I kind of, I'm trying to like think puberty. about like, okay, so, yeah, I mean, I think like yeah. sixteen, yeah. like if you could drive, you could choose. Yeah. If you could have babies, yeah. you know. Like, the, have at it. I, I think it's a different question too between, you know, like a sixteen year old having sex with a sixteen year old, right. and yeah. like a, having sex with an android, like a thirty year old. Like, you know, oh, roughly oh, the age <laughs> of like what consent. About what's th- the age you consent for an android? Is that like something where yeah. we have to like the moment the of conception? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, conception male. is that like with a thirteen when year old robot? Online. When the it comes online, <laughs> I think Would that cross you know any kind of moral line there. <laughs> we're gonna have to. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to pick that up another time. Uh, I felt like sadly, to go there's somewhere. always a, there's always a part two. There are always, there's always a part two. There's That's always the part two. <laughs> Have a good night. Take care. Take care.